Hello everybody, today I am going to be creating an art journal page and I have really been in a creative rut lately uh, as far as creating uh, like mixed media and those types of things. That's why I've just basically been creating cards and although I do love creating cards, um, I love creating uh, mixed media art journal pages and scrapbook pages and all those types of things. And so I'm really excited that I finally got some creative inspiration so that I can, so that I can create something um, in my art journal. So I am using a Prima mixed media book. I just took the pages out. It's really simple to do. And I prepped the pages with some white gesso from Prima. It's the heavy gesso. And I put a very generous amount of it on the pages because the pages are really thick and they're almost like watercolor paper, but not quite. And I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to do yet. So I just like to prep my pages with gesso, whether it's clear gesso or white gesso. And now I'm taking a uh, the stencil from Echo Park and using some light paste to create some texture. I'm using a silicone brush from Prima. I love this brush. There's two different sizes. I love the smaller one the most because it fits in most of the containers. Uh, after the paste dries, I am just adding some texture with these little stamps from Prima. These are from Finibear. I love these. I think they're like under $2. I have a ton of them and I just, I love kind of curling them up and uh, just creating a little bit of interest and texture on my backgrounds of my projects. And I'm using stays on ink so that the color does not bleed once I add all of my sprays and everything. So I added a little bit of water to the pages. And then now I'm adding some Dragonfly Blue uh, Color Bloom Spray. And this is probably one of my favorite colors. I just spray it on and then I have a baby wipe to the side just so that I can dab it off if I feel like I have too much. And then I can kind of blend it out with the baby wipe as well. And now I'm just taking the nozzle, just dipping it into the bottle and then um, that way I can have a little bit more control of where I have my color and I'm just tipping the papers back and forth side to side so that the color can just go where it wants and uh, adding a little bit of water here and there and I continue to do this. I really wanted when the book was together when the pages were inside the book um, it to be the center have the most color and then gradually go out towards the end of the pages. I hope that makes sense. So to add more depth to my pages, I am adding some Magic Stone Color Bloom Spray. Or is that Precious Stone? I can never remember. I think it's right here. Let me grab it really quickly. Uh, Magic Stone Color Bloom Spray. It's the number two. Uh, there's the original Color Bloom Sprays and then they came out with Color Bloom uh, 2, which is basically uh, just different bottles and colors. So I just add that uh, using the uh, nozzle and then that is going to create a lot of a lot of depth on my page and it's going to get in all of the grooves of where I put the light paste and the you can now see the pattern a little bit more of uh, the stencil that I put down. And I just am going to dry it a little bit and then add a little bit more color. Just a second here. And I add more, or I add some of this Nouveau embellishment mousse just so that I can blend out the color a little bit. I don't really like harsh lines too much. So I wanted to um, help it blend out a little bit. And this color is, let me see if I have it on my desk. I do, it's over here. Sorry, you guys. This one is uh, aquamarine. Super, super pretty color. I wanted to blend out the color even more, so I'm taking a baby wipe, and this baby wipe is pretty wet, and I'm taking the heavy gesso, and I just put a little bit on there, kind of dab it off, 
and I'm just pouncing it on to the page where the color uh, ends, I guess, and then that way I can blend it out and then uh, it creates a nice faded look instead of those harsh lines. Alright, so my camera died and I didn't realize it, but I am adding some Lime Wedge Color Bloom spray. I love these colors together. And then I just uh, add a little bit of water and then again just let it kind of flow where it wants to. And then I love my baby wipes. I use them all the time and I'm just dabbing up some of that color because I didn't want it to go all the way to the edge. and. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to continue to kind of play around with the color a little bit. I had a whole different vision for this page. Uh, and I tried it out and I honestly I just deleted all of the footage um, I didn't want to bore you with probably about another 15 minutes of things that didn't work out but um, it was just basically I was stamping on tissue paper the butterflies and then I was going to add them and then I decided that I wanted to watercolor them on watercolor paper that didn't work out so um, this is what I ended up with. I am stamping directly onto my page and I'm using the Tim Holtz uh, butterfly uh, stamps and I don't know the exact name but I'll have the links down below to all the products I'm using. And then these are the little butterflies from a Finibear uh, stamp set. Then I took a stamp set from Prima. It is from the Saint Tropez collection and I love these little sayings. They're like, um, one says, such a lovely life, and then the other one says, as free as the ocean. I just thought it was perfect for this page. And I stamped them on some tissue paper and then cut them out, and I'm adding them onto my page with some uh, 3D matte gel. And this is these are some little circles from the same a Finibear stamp set and just kind of randomly stamping here and there just to add a little bit more interest to my page. And let's see. Oh yes, I take the Nouveau Embellishment Mousse in. Again, it's far away from me. Uh, this voiceover is quite something today. This one is citrus green. It's super pretty. And I just kind of wanted to highlight some of the areas, uh, like the texture from the uh, light paste and the stencil. And it also uh, gives a little bit of shine, which normally I am not the hugest fan of. But for this particular page, I just decided that I wanted a little bit. So I just continued to use my finger. You can use a paintbrush if you want as well, or... Uh, Tonic Studios has a brush that works really, really well if you want to uh, add a lot of color to your project. Um, I have a video over on scrapbook.com's uh, YouTube channel, and I will have a link to that in the upper right-hand corner. 
I share different uses for these mooses. Hey, that rhymed. <laughs> um, anyways, it is getting late, so I apologize for this really weird voiceover tonight. My voice is going away, and I don't even know why, but um, yeah. So I am going to add some splatters just to finish off the page, and I'm using some gesso and a little bit of water, and I turn my page so that I get the splatters a little bit different so that they're not all going the same direction. Also for splatters, I love the Distress Spray, uh, the picket fence. It works perfect for little white splatters. And that is going to complete this page. I hope you guys enjoy. And as always, I love reading your comments. Please leave me a comment. I love reading them. Let me know what your favorite color, color combinations are. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And here are a couple videos that you might like. Click them. And you can always uh, click the subscribe button if you are not subscribed to my channel already. Share this video on social media and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. It really helps me out. And I will catch you guys later. Bye!